Reading 012, Unit 4, Lesson 2, Athletes in Training. By the end of Unit 4, Lesson 2, you will be able to recognize the main idea in the reading text and locate important information in the text. Vocabulary. Potion. This is a liquid believed to have medical or magical powers. Hyperbaric chamber. This is a large, high-pressure, high-oxygen tube. Adjust. This is to change to fit new circumstances. And acclimate. This is to get used to something. Preview the magazine article below. Underline the title, the headings, and the first sentence of each paragraph as you preview. Then answer the following questions. Question 1. What is the text about? Question 2. What four athletes are discussed in the text? Question 3. What is the name of the American athlete? Question 4. Who trained in relay running, triple and long jump? Question 5. Where is Katerina from? Question 6. Which sport did Tegla like? The strange training methods of world-class athletes. World-class athletes have always looked for ways to improve their level of fitness and get an edge on their competitors. During Greek and Roman times, some athletes would lift rocks and drink strange potions as part of their training. In the past century, athletes have tried everything from eating raw eggs to sleeping in hyperbaric chambers to have an advantage and win a competition. Here are four world-class athletes and the uncommon techniques they use to train for their competitions. Chuchi Nambu Chuchi Nambu was an Olympic athlete in the 1928 and 1932 games. He ran one leg or part of Japan's 4 by 100 meter relay race, which is a race run by four athletes, one after the other. And he won medals for the long jump and triple jump. Because Nambu lived in northern Japan, he was unable to practice outdoors in the cold winters. He trained by doing workouts in a local department store, running up and down stairs and through the crowds. Nambu also studied the natural world to improve his technique. He observed or closely watched frogs and monkeys as they jumped and tried to use their techniques in his own jumps. Tegla the Rope Tegla the Rope is an Olympic runner from Kenya. Before she won the New York City Marathon in 1994, she was unknown in the international running scene. LaRope began running as a way to get to her school six miles away. If she was late for school, she was punished. She also ran at home on her family's farm. Her family owned cattle, and LaRope had to run to herd them, or control their movement as a group. At four foot eleven and ninety pounds, she is still considered the fastest female marathon runner. Katerina Numanoff Katerina Numanoff is a cross-country skier from the Czech Republic. She won a gold medal in the 2006 Winter Olympics. In the 2006 Winter Olympics, while other athletes are in bed, Katerina Numanoff is training. Part of her training is sleeping inside a special tent. The conditions inside the tent simulate the conditions at high altitudes, like on high mountains, with cold temperatures and less oxygen. Living at high altitudes allows your body to adjust to less oxygen. Many people believe this improves athletic performance. Katerina has another hypoxic, low oxygen tent that is big enough for her to move around in. Three times each week, Katerina exercises inside her training tent. Lynn Cox Lynn Cox was the first person to swim across the Bering Strait from Alaska to Siberia. She wore only a bathing suit and swim cap. Cox began training for open water swimming as a teenager by acclimating her body to cold temperatures. She swam in cold water, slept without blankets and with the windows open, and always wore light clothes in the winter. Her techniques worked. At age 15, she became the fastest person to swim across the English Channel.
Now answer the following questions. What is the text about? What four athletes are discussed in this text? What is the name of the American athlete? Who trained in relay running, triple, and long jump? Where's Katerina from? And which sport did Tegla like?